Listen here, kid, you don't want to join the Dream SMP. I'm sure we've all had that dream of suddenly waking up and boom, you're on the Dream SMP. And I mean, hey, it's not just me. There are videos with millions of views on how to join the Dream SMP, as well as this one from Professor Biggie with 3.8 million views. It's obvious a lot of people want to join this server, and today I'm here to tell you why joining the Dream SMP could potentially be the worst thing to happen in your career as a content creator. Hello, everybody, my name is Venice, and today I'm going to explain three reasons on why you don't want to join the Dream SMP. The first one being creators have life cycles. Joining the dream smp could hurt you as joining it early into your online career couldn't potentially stun your growth not everyone is rambo who can jump onto the scene with a couple months of content creation under his belt and not only become one of the top switch streamers in the world but gain nearly 4 million subscribers on youtube with less than 30 videos he is the one in a million us normal folk have to grind for years before seeing any success the amount of hard work you put into the social media thing is actually insane and no it is not harder than your nine to five most people that start going with the mindset of wow this is gonna be so fun i can play video games and make money sign me up but in reality being a creator is a lot tougher than that in fact i literally can't think of any industry that demands more of its employees on their first day let's say you work at oh i don't know burger king right you're a cashier quite literally all you have to do is work the register that's it youtube on the other hand asks you to be a thumbnail designer a video analyst an editor a cameraman a producer and a director all at the same time time. You have to create schedules and make sure you stay consistent because at the end of the day, you are your own boss. Not only all of that, but you don't even get paid until you hit a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Which leads me to my second point. Instant success is horrible. Hearing some of the more popular creators talk about this experience is terrifying and hey, this is someone who's made content consistently. They've uploaded tens, if not hundreds of videos. They understand the journey that it's taken to get here. Now, imagine your average Joe and put them in that same situation. It is quite literally just game over. All of a sudden, you're constantly staring at the viewer number. Seeing it fluctuate is seriously stressing you out and hindering your ability to make content. You've only been on the Dream SMP for, what, a couple hours now? And your viewers are already starting to drop. You start wondering to yourself whether your 15 minutes of fame are done or not. All of a sudden, you have 20 different things you need to look at. Twitter to see if anyone's DM'd you, whether OBS is working, and how to make interesting content while still being relatively interactive with your chat. Discord to see if anyone's DM'd you, using your stream deck to make sure that the music on your stream is fun and engaging. Facebook to see if anyone's DM'd no, I'm just kidding, no one uses Facebook. Whoa, and all of a sudden, people are putting your face as their profile picture and are creating stan accounts. Oh, and look at that. You've been canceled on Twitter for disagreeing with George Not Found, and now you're getting death threats. This is exaggerated, but I hope you get what I mean. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video up until this point, please consider subscribing. We're coming up on 300 subscribers and the goal is a thousand by the end of the year. If you could subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm sure you've heard the classic quote, slow success builds character, fast success builds ego. I mean, there's a reason it's a quote. It's kind of true. For the majority of people, that's just how it works. On Twitter, Patty Galloway, go follow him by the way, posted an image called the YouTube roller coaster. And I think this is what most people trying to join the dream SMP need to understand. This is the creator life cycle in a nutshell particularly the first drop where you think you're making the best video of all time is where most people find themselves i mean i just currently pass that stage i'm on the never mind it's awful phase so yeah, anyway, this ladies and gentlemen is a little phenomenon called illusory superiority, or if that's a little bit too fat brain for you, the above average effect. Most people have a tendency to think that they're not average despite statistically being very average. Scenario here, let's say I asked you to rate some arbitrary characteristic, like let's say your honesty on a scale of one to 10. What would you say? Most people would say at least a six and above, when in reality, most people are fours and fives. And the same stands for content. A lot of people think their videos are a lot better than they really are. It's a bit harsh, but I hope you can see why Dream adds the creators that he does. Some people are mad when the new creators added to the Dream SMP are already established and have made content for the last while. You know, your laser beams and your Vic stars and your skeppies. But to be honest, those creators have the most seamless and healthy transitions into the Dream SMP, which is why I think Dream has the right mindset when it comes to bringing on new members. He brings on only people he finds talented and are relatively established on other social medias, whether that be YouTube or mainly TikTok. To be fair, Rambu was popular on TikTok before he joined the Dream SMP, so that's why he got added. Finally, for my last point, you need to ask yourself yourself the question, do you really enjoy making content or do you just want to meet these people and potentially be friends with them? If it's the latter, that's 100% fine. Hell, everyone does. You spend countless hours watching these guys. Restrictions have opened up and now you can go to conventions like TwitchCon where you can get in line and meet these people. Trust me, the stress of joining the Dream SMP from both a fan and aspiring creator's perspective is something you definitely don't want. The creators out there, just grind out the videos, man. Focus on improving yourself with the process of video making and your personality in general. Trust me, it will be in a much better 
better position than if you join the Dream SMP. After all, success is just opportunity plus preparation. You have to be prepared so that when your moment does come, you can take full advantage of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, click the video on screen where I explain why Tommy Edit's vlog series didn't work out as well as he thought it would. That would be amazing. See ya.